Hello, welcome back to the Sugar Shack. Uh, this is the low level, ch low level challenger uh, run of Tales of Vesperia. And uh, we're just about to continue uh, going to talk with Flynn and the dude we rescued from burning to death. Let's, oh, I went in the wrong room. Ah, it is the right room here. <laughs> okay. Let's see what Flynn has to say. <gasps> you! <laughs> yes? Have we met somewhere? Oh. Amnesia, is it? Convenient time for amnesia. <laughs> I know somebody who can fix that for you. <laughs> amnesia? I'm terribly sorry, but this is the first time we've met. I love how he has that, like, a smirk on his face, like... <laughs> Are you crazy? Magistrate, your crimes are undeniable. These people have seen everything. As I've just been explaining, someone had assumed my identity and was trying to ruin my reputation. Jeez, come on. It was most upsetting. Liar! I saw those people you fed to the monsters with my own two eyes! Well, Sir Flynn, who are you to believe? These young ruffians or me, a member of the council? Ha <laughs> ha Flynn. It's settled then. I bid you all good day. Oh, God. Injustice at its best. Oh, you're going to meet with a sticky end, sir. Who does that guy think he is? Uh, a member of the council. <laughs> so, a member of the government and immune to all crimes and evils? I'm pretty sure that's how the world works, Rita. Didn't you know that? <laughs> and who the hell is he? Settle down. <sighs> this is... This is His Royal Highness Yoder, candidate for the Imperial Throne. <laughs> so maybe watch your tone a bit, Rita. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, right, Estelle. Good one. What an idiot. <laughs> what? I'm only one of the candidates. <laughs> the other is uh, in this room. It's true. With the passing of the previous Emperor, Master Yoder is a rightful heir. R really? Yes. An alleged Imperial heir captured by a so-called magistrate. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I see. Then this incident means that I... A little too juicy for public consumption, huh? <laughs> I... I just... It's got something to do with your decision to leave the castle, doesn't it? Probably. <sighs> do whatever you want. I've got no interest in an empire that just sits and does nothing while its people suffer in... Oh, sorry guys, suffer in plain sight. Yuri, and what have you changed by turning your back on such an empire? I'm not allowed to rest my finger on the X button. It just presses it of, it, of its own volition. We need just laws laid down by the government to ensure that people can live lives of stability and peace. Those same laws just let Rago walk out that door. He has a point. Which is why you and I became knights, Yuri. To change things like that. If we couldn't make it happen by yelling about it from below. Then we said we'd gain honor and trust. And fix the Empire from within. Remember? So, in order to get ahead in life, I'm supposed to stand by while somebody feeds little kids to monsters? Is that it? You want me to look the other way when our people in the lower quarter are being bled dry by taxes? It's because I can't do those things that I quit being a knight. Mm. I know, but has anything changed because you quit? <laughs> <clears throat> How is anything different than it was before you joined the Knights? Wait, I'm coming too! I've done it again. Mm -hmm. I only want for him to move on with his life. To quit sitting around. Flynn, I... My apologies for such an embarrassing scene. <laughs> Oh, Flynn. What do you intend to do next? Hmm. 
Would it be all right if I go with him? Why? I feel like so much has changed during my travels uh, with Yuri. I, I the just Empire, noticed the world. <laughs> when she was talking, of course they moved the scene, jerks. But Rita's leg was like moving back and forth, like so impatiently, and it's like, yeah, I know what you mean, Rita. I've How changed I as well. There it goes. Lady Estelis. Understood. You there, young man. Huh? Huh? Who? M me? Pretty sure you're the only young man in the room. Tell Yuri to take good care of this young lady. Aww. Okay. Is it really all right? Like, he's not your supervisor, lady. I would rather do the job myself, but I'm afraid my current duties won't allow it. And as long as you're with him, I can be certain you'll be safe. You believe in him, don't you? I do. Aww. If you guys are finished, can we get going? We'll lose him if we don't hurry. Oh yeah, that's the reason for her impatience. Cool, okay. Thankfully, we don't actually have to chase Damn, after him. knows how to get to me. I know better than anyone that nothing's changed. Poor Yuri. I guess I should look for clues about the Blastiocor. So I actually changed things up uh, quite a little bit. <clears throat> uh, the clue is actually right over here in a familiar character. Um, I turned off the standalone since everyone got experience after that last fight anyways. Uh, and I um, switched it so I've got Rita in control. Yuri's still out of the party because he's got a big scene coming up. Except for, of course, right now where they've messed with my uh, settings again. So let's just talk to Raven here. Hey, it's him. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey there. Long time no see. Isn't there something else you should be saying? <laughs> Something else? Hmm. Can't think of anything. <laughs> well, they say the deceived have better memories than the deceivers, don't they? I'm just terribly misunderstood. Honest. You need to see a doctor for your tendency to unconsciously cause trouble to others. <laughs> you might see if you can get that foul mouth of yours checked out, too. Oh, my. You had a comeback for everything, huh? If you don't stop putzing around, the knights are going to throw you back in jail. Ha! <laughs> The knights are a bit too busy to bother with me. Mm hmm I saw a rough-looking guild group moving to the northwest not too long ago. The knights can't just turn a blind eye to them, can they? Rough-looking, you say? Was it the Blood Alliance? Beats me. By the way, what was your business back there? Nothing special. I was looking for an apatheia. Hmm. What is an apatheia? Supposed to be like a really strong core. Heard that it was there, but I guess I had the wrong information. <laughs> I see. An apatheia. Oh! Yuri! Hey! Over here! Uh, I'll get you, old man! <laughs> hmm. She's serious. Maybe I'd best be off now. Yep, the Amazonas has emerged. <laughs> Wait! Damn it! I'm gonna be too senseless! <sighs> Why'd you let him get away? He said he's terribly misunderstood. <laughs> what? What does that mean? Oh, he got away. I'll catch that bugger one of these days. You should leave him be. Going up against that kind of guy is just a waste of energy. You all right? Jeez, these guys are out of shape. I mean, for people who've literally been walking everywhere. I mean, they can't even, like, run half a block? Just let me take a, a little break. Sure, you can have a little one. Then we've got to go. Go? Go where? We need to follow the Blood Alliance to get back the lower quarters Blastia. Did you get a lead on where to go next? Of course we did. I heard that a shady group from a guild was headed to the northwest. It might be them. To the northwest of here? The only city I can think of in that direction would be one that was destroyed in an earthquake. What could they want to do in a place like that? Hmm, good question. And yet, you still want to go? Of course. I'm just saying we should go and check it out. 
I hate oh the next dungeon so I'm hoping it's not getting picked up on the mic but um, we got our fence built I think like two years ago or something but the people who built the fence never finished the fence like they never cut the posts they just left them like three feet above where the fence ends and it looks ridiculous so uh, the fence is finally getting like fixed today by a different company of course um, and so the guy's been like chainsawing at the wood posts and I'm really hoping it's not getting picked up but uh, he's been doing it for a while because he's got a lot to do I think he's done with ours because there's about like three other sets of fences that need it because we all went with this stupid company uh, anyway sorry now I forgot what I need to do so we just leave I thought there's a scene there later but I think we have to go to cave mock first uh, good my party is still as I want it to be um, put some new skills on uh, Rita so she doesn't get interrupted when she's casting uh, and the uh, this other one that is like uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called but it either doubles or negates any casting time uh, so we have to go check in with these people again I mean we don't have to not for the low level challenge but uh, for playing the game purposes if you want to get the giganto monsters uh, and the whole side quest then you better stop here Uh, sorry, I'm just skipping through this. Um, I didn't... Okay, it seems you have more uh, companions since the last time. How nice. Uh, perhaps you'd like to stop and rest. Yeah, I could use some rest. I agree, I'm kind of tired. Blah, blah, blah. In we go. Make yourselves at home, even though it's daylight. Um, and then we get this. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, that's a pretty ancient-looking sword. <laughs> says the guy who's carrying around one of the fell arms which is like above and beyond ancient um, the blades gotten really dull too it's no longer anything more than an antique unfit to cut man or beast is that sword important to you it belongs to someone I respect I can't just get rid of it touche <laughs> I know what you mean Rich, it seems like you're not running a traveling inn just for the heck of it. Am I right? Way to be insightful for once, Carol. Hm. You shouldn't be so nosy, Carol. It's alright. I'm I'm a warrior, not an innkeeper. I left my village with Karen to slay giganto monsters. I was fifteen at the time. Sounds about right. Uh, fifteen seems to be the right age to go off on an independent journey in Japan. <laughs> I'm 28. 13 years, huh? That's a pretty long time. The Giganto Monster. That's the name of the giant type of monster living all over the world. I heard that an extermination force... Oh my god, reading is not my strong suit today. Uh, sent by the Empire to kill them was entirely wiped out. Until every single one of those monsters has fallen, I cannot go back to my hometown. Why is that? Sounds like there's something you're not telling us. <laughs> now who's being nosy? Perhaps we can help. It seems like you're having a tough time of it. But you see. I don't know the details, but you committed to doing this yourself, didn't you? Yeah. Then it sounds like this is up to him, Carol. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, Yuri and his vigilanteism. Don't worry, Rich. We gon' kill all those monsters for you. Just not in this playthrough, probably. They give good experience. Did you sleep well? Yeah, I slept like a trick yo-yo. <laughs> the first time I saw this, I didn't see the second yo. So I just... Yeah, I slept like a trick yo. <laughs> just... <laughs> if you ever happen to see us around again, please stop and say hello. Yes, thank you so much. You're so kind. Later. Big brother, I keep telling you, try to be more friendly. Maybe we should have helped them. 
We can't solve all of the world's problems by ourselves. Though, if we ever happen to run into those monsters that he was talking about, we might as well take them out for him. I don't see any problem with doing that much. Yeah, alright. Cool, cool, cool. I think the holy bottle's probably worn off. And despite the fact that we went out the opposite way, it would not let us go through. Uh, it makes us go the long way around. Which is fine. Okay. So, let me get my bearings. We came from there. We have to go around this thing. Uh, and we're going to care Bakram, if I remember correctly. Hopefully the bridge... Ah, uh, you... Okay, well, at least you're not on the bridge. I hate when they do that. Okay. So, we better uh, give a quick little save outside of here. Okay. Stop it, Weasley. Alright, let's get inside. We're gonna have a tutorial eventually, but it's not until we're much later in. The fallen city, Kier Bakram. Man, this place is a total wreck. <laughs> he did say it was destroyed, did he not? Do you seriously think anybody would come to a place like this? I wonder if we've been fed some false information again. I mean, maybe I'm stereotyping, but an abandoned, ruined place like this seems the perfect place for his shady guild to head, does it not? Again? <laughs> That's far enough! This area is under the jurisdiction of the Hunting Blades! I don't know if you recognize that voice, but... That voice! These measures have been taken to prevent the injury of innocent bystanders. Man! Alright! I finally found you! <laughs> Are the Chief and Tyson with you? Have you guys been getting along okay without me? Don't take that buddy-buddy tone with me! Aw, don't be like that. I only got a little lost. A little lost? That's a good one. You know you just ran away. <laughs> what? Carol run away? I didn't run away. I swear! Still making excuses, huh? It's not an excuse. I beat an egg bear just like I said I would. More lies. I mean it! Is this how you repay being taken in by the hunting blades? Remind me who it was that said, I swear I won't run away this time. <laughs> you always run and hide at the first sign of trouble. You've been kicked out of every guild in the book. Shut up! You shut your mouth! Oh. Huh. Even we've already fired you. And we'll take anyone! Wait! Oh. You have been warned by the hunting blades. Leave this area at once. If you fail to heed this warning, you do so at the risk of your own lives. Nan! Oh, Carol. This still doesn't explain what the hunting blades are doing here. <laughs> Good old Good Yuri. Point. Let's just change the subject. Rita, wait! Are you forgetting about the warning? <laughs> she never said we weren't allowed to enter. But what about the risking our lives part? Are you implying that I should listen to that brat? Don't make me laugh. At any rate, the Blood Alliance doesn't seem to be here. Let's have a look around. <laughs> if the Blood Alliance isn't here, why are we even bothering with this place? <clears throat> Either way, this is kind of a sad uh, time for Carol. So, um... Everything's locked right now. We can't really do anything except for go this way. Get a little treasure chest. It does make me sad to walk by those umbrella guys. They're my favorite enemies. And then we get a little scene here. It looks like a dead end. Should we head back or Hold on. I'm going to have a look around. Weird. There's not a keyhole or anything. Really? Yuri, yeah. an amateur like you would never be able to open a door like... I like to pause here. <laughs> I should have just hit X 
to make it work beautifully, but I love, I just love this part so much. <laughs> what the? Yuri has uh, plus 15 to disable device. I wouldn't want Captain Carol to dirty his hands on such a filthy door. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my God, Carol. <sighs> well, shall we? Wouldn't it be crazy if a monster just gobbled up your foot right now? Just a giant munch and oops. No more foot. <laughs> what? what? Oh my god, Yuri. Eh, looks fine to me. Let's go inside. What am I? Your test dummy? He said, wouldn't it be funny? Or at least that's what I said in my head. <laughs> I think it would be hilarious. What's this do? Hey, get your grubby mitts off it. Some sort of switch? Carol's so slow anyways, losing his foot wouldn't slow him down that much more. Nothing's happening. It doesn't have enough air. Not enough air. <laughs> I wonder if that ring I got in the Shikos ruins might be able to do anything. Ah, the sorcerer's ring. I'm not sure, but you might as well give it a try. Why not shoot something with a little laser beam of air? It worked! But... What's this? I should have just gone ahead and activated it before then. What? Yeah. What if it was a trap or something? It's okay. He's got fine traps. Yuri, you should point things like that out as soon as you notice. No, I only realized it just now, actually. Maybe if we go upstairs, we might figure something out? Okay. Uh, up the stairs we go. Um, so now the houses are all unlocked. And once again, my holy bottle has worn off. And this is why you need so damn many of them. And... Uh, so, okay. Uh, in here, you need to be able to get some clues. Uh, there's a password. Uh, you can cheat, look up the password, or I can spoil it for you right now. Password is sun. But you have to find at least one clue. You can't just go straight to the end um, and use uh, and put the password in because you know it. So I've got password clue number one, so I should be able to just do it. But there's some other stuff you have to do before that happens anyways. Um, some scenes that have to happen. So let us go here and trigger this thing. Oh, I think there's a scene if you check it. Uh, like, oh, maybe if you hit this with the sorcerer's ring. So we want to move forward. And then there should be a scene. I think I might have to fight that stupid... Um, Arga. Arga. Hmm. Yes, I think I must be stuck fighting this... Uh... Oh, did he move enough? Because I think if I run, I'll end up on the same side and just have to do it again. Okay, that doubled her. Not what she was going to say at all. Okay. And we need to go in here. Uh, and now, if you go down here, uh, there's a save point, and it's what leads to the machine where you put the password in, um, but we have stuff to do first. Oh, I think there's a treasure chest down there, but I'm not too concerned. Cocktail dress. And they've got some stuff in, like, the, in the bookshelves and everything. But there's a machine out here. And this one, we want to go to the left. I believe going to the right just puts you on the top of that other building. Um, but when we go this way, if we can ever move... Oh, it triggers a scene. So it looks like the Blood Alliance. Just as the guy started up with uh, some machines again. So I'm really sorry. I think he's like right next to my house again. <laughs> Isn't here after all. Those guys are the hunting blades. Yeah. 
Hey, and that's like the monster that we man. fought before. We saw him in Dadon Hold. Ugh. Ah, now that you mention it, we did see him. So he's the leader of your guild then? Yes, he is. He's gonna fight that monster all by himself? Oh, yeah. What? No way, man! He gets gold. That was a fatal strike. Spoiler! Uh, he gets gold ones. He's the only one that gets gold ones. I'm actually gonna just mute my mic until uh, the scene is completely done because it's getting really loud. Uh, okay, so sorry. He took it out in one hit? That was a fatal strike! A fatal strike? It's a crazy powerful technique that extremely skilled swordsmen can use. Huh, so how do you do it? How do you do it? How should I know? Fatal Strike. A strong attack which throws your opponent off balance, followed by a single well-timed strike to finish the enemy. Is that something else you read in a book? Y yes it is. I see. It sounds like it's easier said than done. You really want to get back into your guild, don't you? What makes you say that? Oh. Carol, are you going to go back to that guild? I won't go back. I'm sick and tired of monster hunting. Won't go back or can't go back? It sounded like you were fired. No way! I'd been planning on leaving for a while. Huh, is that so? Well, no matter then. So, uh, let's get going. Well, I'm glad you're staying with us, Carol. Anyway, what do you think they're doing with such a large contingent? Yeah, if they wanted to take out that monster we saw, one person would have been enough. This is actually the first time I've ever seen this many guild members gathered in one place. Really? Yeah, a lot of the members are loners. They tend not to travel in groups. And the chief being here is out of the ordinary, too. Curiouser and curiouser. You wanna... follow them and see what they're up to? Nah, uh, that sounds interesting, but I'm gonna keep going. He's looking for members of the Blood Alliance after all. Right, Yuri? Yeah, I don't want to worry about two guilds. One is more than enough. Okay, guys, sorry about that. They are still uh, working, but I think, thankfully, that scene got the worst of it. Like, pretty much right after I muted my mic, um, they were, like, I, I think literally, like, right next to the wall I'm at. Oh, it was horrible. Anyways, there's nothing over here but a battle in a chest now. And a battle in a chest. Shit. I wonder if I can run away from this. I can. Uh, so let's go to defend and escape. Because these guys give... Oh, okay. It's not that bad experience. But I'm still disappointed in myself for forgetting about that. Uh, anyways, so we can go back here and we're going to get a scene and another forced battle right here. And this is the Fatal Strike uh, tutorial. I think I'll try to do that thing. That thing. That thing? <laughs> that Fatal Strike thing. That Fatal Strike thing. Yuri's very good at that Fatal Strike thing. what you saw and hope it'll work. Hey, I won't know if I can until I try. How did it go again? You've got uh, ballad points. Uh, first, you go and attack the enemy to throw it off balance. Alrighty. Alrighty? Ah! I see it. Huh? See what? <laughs> Don't you see the glowing orb around it? I see my opening to attack. It was pretty cool. Nah, I was just copying what I saw. I didn't think it was the sort of thing you can just copy like that. Well, you need a little skill, but it's not really that hard. You no, think you could do it while watching me? 
No way. It takes a skilled swordsman to do something like that. I know that. But Carol, you're not as bad as you make yourself out to be. I'm... I'm not? You too, Estelle. R really? Alright, let's go. <laughs> but not you, Rapide. Yeah. That was fun. Yuri, you're awesome! He's pretty awesome. I love Fatal Strikes. Uh, the problem uh, is, since I'm always so overleveled, I have to put myself on, like, minimum damage to get them, pretty much, so... Anyways, uh, you can go down here. I think there's a chest down there. Um, but we are going to go in here. Okay. Perfect. And up we go. And so this was the one uh, where we're going to go left. Um, but as you can see, you can go right and get a treasure chest. But if you do that, then you have to like hop back down and uh, do all that stuff. So forward, sorry, not left. Okay. And then I'm going to go in here. Mm, I thought there was something at the table. Guess not. Okay. Oh, there we go. So now we've got clue number three. Clue number two, I think, is the one I have a really hard time finding. Um, but we've got enough. So uh, we need to, I believe, head somewhere else to get a scene. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just making stuff up right now. Let's just jump down here. Oh, I hate the jumps. They're just why? Why are you so dramatic? You don't need to be so dramatic. Shit. Cowards. Okay. Uh, defend. Isn't there like guard? I don't know if defend's good enough. Okay. Yeah. Jeez, even with holy breath, these holy bottles are just wearing off, like... I wish I could set a shortcut to just, like, use the holy bottle. Okay. Uh, so this was the one... I'm gonna try going down here uh, just to uh, rem remember, I guess, what's down here, what we get. Uh, that's how we go down... Okay, so it's just a war axe. Oh, we can go in here, though. You know what? Maybe this is where password clue number two is. Magic mist. Not too bad. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So let's hop. Oh, no. Shoot. Sorry guys, I might be waiting here for a little while. Oh, can I? Oh, I can't. Ah, oh, curse myself for coming down here. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, oh, wrong way. I love how the monsters just like watch me run by, but then don't move to get at me. Except for there, apparently. Let's work together. Hurry up. <sighs> okay. Okay, no more goofing off forward and then just come right over here okay so this was where the I didn't have was. a chance to ask you this but you mean me why didn't you return to the capital when we were in Torum Harbor because she doesn't want to she's got a crush on you why oh yeah still wanted to tell Flynn that he's being hunted right 
Yeah, at that point, your journey should have ended. <laughs> well, uh, you see... Hey, by the way, who was hunting Flynn down anyway? Uh, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Wasn't it Rego? Huh? That villain? That villain. Yoda was on Rago's ship, and Yoda's the Imperial Prince. Yeah, so... I'm saying that I think Flynn's true mission was to find Yoder, though I don't know why things would end up that way between big shots from the same Empire. I'm sorry. I don't know either. <laughs> well, that's okay. But what about you? Are you sure you don't want to go back? Uh, I don't know. If you've been stuck in a castle your whole life, like, probably only seeing, like, the same, like, four rooms. Yeah. Well, I kind of just went with the flow and came along from Torum Harbor. But I think maybe I wanted to keep traveling with everyone a bit longer, so, uh... She doesn't want her fun to end. Besides, we still haven't gotten the Blastia Corps back yet. That's true, but isn't that my business? Can't I help out? No. Mm, yeah, sure. Feel free to come along. Thank you. So cute. All right, so we're back to this building. Um, so now we can legit go down. Um, oop, let's just make sure everybody's health's okay. Uh, and I think this might actually be a really good place to end the video um, because we've probably got about 15 more minutes, maybe even longer than that, uh, down below. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.